Uh, hello and welcome to this demonstration in the NPTEL course for Secure Systems Engineering. In this uh, demonstration and the one that follows, we will be seeing how we could inject a payload into a program and cause that payload to execute. In particular, we will be looking at the payload in detail and uh, we will be seeing uh, essentially where and how that payload can be modified. So, uh, this code is uh, present in the Bitbucket repository, uh, just like all the other uh, videos that we have uh, done. Okay, so uh, we go to NPTEL codes, uh, CD module 2, and uh, we take this particular victim program, uh, which is in this file called, um, we'll be looking at this code, which is called VIM test code.c. So, as you can see over here, uh, this is a really small C program. Uh, it comprises of two functions. The first is the copier uh, function and the main function. The main function invokes the copier function and passes it argument 1. So, argv1 is what is obtained from the main's command line and uh, copier then executes, it takes the character pointer uh, str, it creates a local buffer called buffer and then uh, invokes string copy to copy from str into buffer. Uh, so, note that string copy will continue to execute copying character by character from str into buffer until a slash 0 or a null character is obtained in str. The first thing to note in this particular program is the vulnerability. The vulnerability comes due to the string copy operation. So, note that argv1 could be of any arbitrary size. So, it is in control of the user of this particular program. So, this user could specify any length for argv1, which could be much larger than 100 bytes. And if there is no null termination character within the 100 bytes, string copy will continue to execute and overflow buffer. So, we will first see this in action. We first make test code and uh, as so, um, and um, as we have seen before, the GCC with these various options uh, would generate the executable dot test code. Now, uh, we would run test code with a valid input, for example, 5 A's. As we see, uh, the program execute and we get a done displayed on the screen. So, what is happening here is that A's, which is present in STR, is copied into buffer. The copier function then returns and printf done is executed. Now, look what happens when we increase the length of the input. So, we say test code and increase the length of the input uh, considerably, much larger than the 100 bytes. And what we see here is that the program terminates with a segmentation fault. Now, we will first investigate what causes this segmentation fault. And as we have seen before, uh, we would use GDB to make this investigation. So, we run GDB as follows. Uh, we could list the program and uh, put a breakpoint in line number 10, right. And then we would run this code through GDB and also specify the inputs and we will specify the very large uh, input through argv1. So, argv1 is the series of A's, uh, which is then passed into the main function through uh, this second parameter argv1. Okay. So, uh, what is going to happen here is that since we are running through GDB and have a breakpoint at line number 10, so uh, we would hit the breakpoint over here. and uh, then we would put another breakpoint in line number 7. 
So line number 7 uh, comprises of the end of the copy of function. So line number 7 uh, gets uh, is reached after string copy completes its execution. So we put break line number 7 and in order to continue the execution we put uh, the command C. So what happens now is that um, we see an error over here stating that str equal to 41414141 the error is it cannot access memory at address 0x4141441. Now uh, we could investigate a little bit in detail and see what actually is happening. So we first see that um, the entire stack uh, obtained from info registers uh, ES, ESP gives you the stack and uh, x slash x uh, 32 x uh, dollar ESP would give you the contents of the stack. So what you notice over here is that the entire stack is filled with uh, 40 ones. Now, 41 is essentially uh, the ASCII value for the uh, character A. So what has happened is that buffer is overflowed and the entire stack uh, is filled with the contents of A. Uh, the return address which was present on the stack is also overwritten and uh, what it is replaced with is these values 41, 41, 41, 41. Now at the end of execution of string copy, um, when this particular function copier tries to return, it picks the return address from uh, the expected location on the stack, but what it would obtain is this value 41, 41, 41, 41 and during the RET instruction that copier executes, it tries to change the instruction pointer to this location. Now further execution from this location uh, would result in a segmentation fault because uh, this is an invalid location. So uh, in the next video what we will see is that we will uh, take the same test code and we will see how we could exploit this test code and, and force this test code to execute a particular payload. So the next video we will see that instead of just crashing the program we will force one particular payload of our choice to execute from this program. Thank you.